We also have new information about a deadly stabbing on Thursday morning in Sydney that led to a nearly 10 hour standoff with police and ended with a 16 year old in custody. Authorities found that teen hiding in the attic of a home. He's now facing charges related to the stabbing. Police say it all started with a large fight at a nearby park. News reporter Leah Seabrooks has been covering the story since it broke. She joins us now live from that park. Aaliyah, we understand that you now have received some never before seen footage of the moments leading up to that deadly fight. What does that show? That's right, Brooke and John. That video that we got was from a, a someone who lives nearby in the area, and it shows a group of people meeting here at this park, and just a few minutes later, they start fighting. Now this all ended with a 23-year-old dead, a juvenile in critical condition, and police say they believe they have arrested the person who is responsible. Now we want to warn you, some of this footage may be disturbing to watch. Now, just after midnight on Thursday, video evidence shows a group of people at the park getting out of a vehicle. Seconds later, another group arrives and they meet on the west side of the park. Then they start fighting. According to the Shelby County prosecutor, this fight was planned and the groups arranged to meet there at that time. In a separate angle, you can see one person armed with two knives. According to county officials, one individual in this video is believed to be involved with the stabbing, but they are looking for more people in connection to the fight. Sell says his office is reviewing all evidence to determine next steps for possible additional charges. Multiple people are involved. Uh, there are other people that are involved as it relates to what happened after the crime was committed. Um, and uh, so we'll be taking a look at some of those actions as well. That juvenile was due in court today for a detention hearing to determine if he will continue to be housed in the county detention center. 